Here we are. <laughs> Hi, Miss Berg. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm a little bit in the dark. Yeah, you're on remote location. I am. Yes, I've been deployed, but I'll be back. I'll be back on Friday. Yeah, I have something yeah. to show you. Okay. Okay. Come here. Oh, hi. This is birch, birch bark. Hi, birch. Wow, it's really cool that we your dog can make a special guest appearance. I know he's had a big day today. There's been a lot of we're learning a lot. We ate a worm. Yep. Um, we love food. Yeah. Um, we're pretty good at pooping and where we're supposed to poop, but we're not yet great yet. Yeah. At where we're supposed to pee. We all Birch can learn to persevere. Birch is so sweet though. Yeah. He is I feel sweet. like you want a dog sit for me. Maybe I will. I know he's very squishy. He, the first night I put him in the kennel and he was like, excuse me, I don't sleep in a kennel. <laughs> I sleep with people and other dogs. So yeah, he's, he's kind of perfect actually. Yeah. He seems very sweet. He is sweet. Okay. Do you want to go see your sister? Okay. Okay. It's all about food. I get it. I get it. Okay. How are you? Yeah, we're good. We had the carnival last week. That was a huge I heard. Success. Amazing. Yep. There were a lot of people, a lot of high school volunteers, a lot of tickets sold, treats had. Wow. So that was great. Excellent. And then we've had some good teacher appreciation this week. Did you have some Qdoba? I did. It was really good. Everyone was good. well fed today. So that was nice. Very nice. Thank so you, our Peach teachers. Joe. Are appreciated. Yes, very much so. Yeah. And tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Or today. Yeah. And this. then I don't really know what else is going on other than we still have a lot of school and we just need to really work hard in our community and persevere. Yes. Well, next week we're meeting the class of 2037 on oh, Thursday night. Right. They're mm -hmm. walking through the or hiking through the woods with our kindergarten team. Yep. Um, yeah. So I think that'll be pretty fun. Yeah. I don't know. It's all I saw on the calendar so far. Yeah. I think that'll be great. It'll, and I think, um, they might meet Timber <gasps> or Birch maybe. Oh, and I, I wonder, yeah, Timber has been in hibernation for quite a while. Timber, you know, the winter was long and kind of, it wasn't cold, but it was kind of punky for a long time. So I don't think tim Timber felt like coming out, but perhaps if there's air conditioning on Thursday, Timber will reappear. Yeah. And today the air conditioning is not working. Why? Um, well, I don't hey, know. Hey, hey. Uh -oh. No, excuse me. So the bo So Mr. Daryl is working hard on getting that communication up and going so that we can have some air conditioning. Sorry about that. Yeah, but anyway. All right. Well, I hope right. you made a great day. Who's yeah. doing the pledge? Um, Miss Hunkins' class. Awesome. That's exciting. Yeah. You're and in first grade. First grade. So we'll do it. All right. All right. Make, Make it a great Friday day. Great. I'm glad you're going to be back. I know. But where am I going to put him? He probably will be in Mr. Daryl's office for the next three weeks. Now you're going to have kids trying to go look for him. He, no, he won't be. It'll be okay. We have okay. a plan. We have a plan. All right. All right. Make it a great day. You too. Bye. Bye. See you later. All right. See you.
Pack Pride for May 10th, showing perseverance, we have Yvonne, Carter, Rowan, Maida, Brody, Drishat, and Brody, Sam, Ava, Gabe, showing accountability, we have Briggs and Liam, Arya, Rhea, Freya, Ridhan, Emily, Mackenzie, Piper, Fatine, Mira, Brayden, and Swara. Showing community, we have Ellie, Henrik, Judy, Griffin, Madeline, and my tree. Showing kindness, we have Crosby, Max, Henry, Zed, and Silas. Happy Friday, everyone. Enjoy today and show pack pride. And now, here's a special segment from Mr. Regner's class about a new recycling program. Is it underwater like wonderful? Unfortunately, there's a problem. Plastic bags are being dumped into the ocean, and sea turtles and other animals are trying to eat them, thinking they are jellyfish. In 2015, about 730,000 tons of plastic bags were made, but more than 87% of those were never recycled. That's about the same weight as the Empire State Building. Twice! You can recycle plastic bags? Well, you can't recycle plastic bags in our regular recycling bin. <laughs> Northwoods is now collecting plastic bags to recycle in collaboration with Ridwell. So I can recycle all of this? Sadly, it's not that simple. Wait, we can go with the plastic bag expert! Yes! <laughs> You're the plastic bag expert. Why, well, yes, you just need to know why either you have high density polyethylene, low density polyethylene, or multi layer plastic. Once you know that, then you can recycle it. Huh? Just give me your plastic and I'll show you what you got. See, that's recyclable. That's not recyclable. Wait. It just looks like you're seeing if you're going to poke your thumb through the plastic or not. Yeah, and if you can put your thumb through it, it is recyclable. And if you can put your thumb through it, it's not recyclable. Shh, don't tell anyone. I call it rule of thumb. We have to tell. The secret is too important not to share. All you have to do to see if you can recycle a plastic bag here is make sure it is completely empty. No crumbs or anything. Then, use the rule of thumb. If it can go through easily, recycle it in the special bin. The special bins can be found just outside the media center and just outside the lunchroom downstairs. Also, if you'd like to start a collection in your classroom, have your teacher email Mr. Wagner. <laughs>